two years ago. I cut the cord with cable, haven't looked back. But the one uh, problem that I do have is Wi-Fi connection on the third floor, definitely. Sometimes on my second floor of my house isn't so strong. So in this episode of The Rugged Homestead is install a Wi-Fi extender that should boost the signal through the rest of the house. I haven't missed cable or the high cost of cable <laughs> since I cut the cord. And I always wondered what took me so long to do that. All I have is a uh, internet uh, provider now and a couple of movie subscriptions, movie channel subscriptions. And that's all the uh, viewing uh, that we need in the house. But sometimes the connections drop out upstairs and on the third floor, it can be really difficult uh, to get it. Now there are other, there are a lot of different ways to uh, get uh, Wi-Fi throughout your house, a strong signal throughout your uh, house. What I'm doing is using a Wi-Fi extender and that's a plug and play thing, literally plug into an outlet in the wall. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. This is the Wi-Fi extender I got. It's the Netgear N300. It says it boosts your existing Wi-Fi signal up to 300 uh, millibytes, megabytes per second. External antennas for better performance, convenient wall plug design. And that's what I really liked about it. You just plug it into an outlet, it should boost the signal. So my router and my modem, I have Fios, so it's not really a modem, is on my first floor. Getting up to the second floor, it, it, it works fine but it drops uh, the signal every now and then. Third floor, like you can show in this little picture, this tiny little uh, segment here, that's basically how it works in uh, uh, my house. So supposedly locating this Wi-Fi extender on the second floor should provide full coverage throughout the house. And you know it's true because they have a picture. So let's open up the box and see what comes inside. There's your device. You plug it in. You press the uh, uh, WPS button on your router. That uh, sends the signal. It should pair up from here. Once it connects, it'll be like a solid green light. Then you can unplug it and go plug it where you need it to uh, extend the signal. So let's see how that works. This is my Netgear router. It's the, the Nighthawk AX4. In my uh, previous video on having a Wi-Fi connection but no internet, which I'll link to up here. This is the uh, router that I discussed in that video. But on this router, this button right here looks like a light, but it's also a button. That's my WPS button. So I just plug this into an outlet and the power button should glow a solid yellow uh, for a little while and then turn green. When that button turns green, all I have to do then is press that button right there and that should connect the, uh, the router without having to type in my password. And Now you can go to a website, I think it's mywifiext.com to set this up and then I'll run you through a series of uh, questions to uh, connect it, to pair it. I'm just going to plug it into an outlet and uh, see what happens. So we have the yellow light. Probably take 30 seconds to a minute to uh, start up to connect or to power up, I should say. So what I do then is I press the WPS button on the side, which is this button right there. Okay, so we got the green light. So now I press the Wi-Fi button on the side. And now I come over to my router and I press my button here. That's flashing. This is flashing. So it says when the extender connects to your existing Wi-Fi network, the WPS LED on the extender light solid green and the router link 
LED light. So this light, this should turn solid, and that should light up. Okay, so the router just blinked. Now the WPS is solid. Okay, good. All right, so it looks like it's connected. Well, that was pretty simple. So now I can unplug this and bring this upstairs to the second floor. So it recommends the extender be placed in an outlet that's about halfway between uh, the router and where the uh, poor signal is. So I'm up on the second floor and this outlet right here is actually almost directly above where the router is uh, downstairs. And it does, uh, the instructions state that the uh, extender has to be uh, within uh, the range of the uh, router. So now we'll just wait and see it connect again. So the WPS is connected. And I guess we just got to wait for the router to actually connect. And there we go. And that's it, it's connected. Now why I liked this option, aside from the incredible ease with putting it together, is that this device was only $13. Um, mesh systems, other uh, separate devices that you would need running cable up uh, to the different sets to, would certainly give you much better signal than this probably will but this is also only $13. So I'll leave a link to this uh, below in case you're interested in getting one yourself. But for ease of use, ease of setup, uh, you really can't uh, beat it. And like I said, you don't use the, the WPS button on your router. You can't find it, you don't have one. There is a website you can go to, mywifiext.com, and it'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to connect your extender uh, to your network. You'll get to set up a password, a different password if you want, the same password, whatever. To show you how to connect, this is my wife's fire stick. And go to the settings, go over to network. And there it is, the Netgear 81 extender. So I'll click on that and it's gonna ask me for the password. And once you type it in, Click connect. There we go. Now we're connected. So hopefully I won't have to hear my wife complaining anymore about slow connections, drop signals, or whatever. It's a simple, low-cost alternative to other more expensive, more complicated ones. It's within the realm of everybody to uh, to do. Okay. Thanks for watching.